I am back with some good news. Alan Dawson, boxing reporter. Shout out to my dude, Alan Dawson. He is reporting. It sounds like premier boxing champions may be getting ready to make an announcement later this week. Per sources with knowledge of the company's strategy, TGB Promotions, that works with PBC, has commissions holds on numerous days in Nevada. The one that likely sticks is March 30th. That PBC schedule need to hurry up and come out. If you know what I mean. If you know, you know. So he has a complete write-up of the news he's been giving from PBC sources as far as what should be next. And it sounds promising. We're learning more about PBC's upcoming plans and how that pertains to Tank and Canelo. To pretty much the face of boxing. The faces of boxing, if you will. We're learning more about the movements of PBC and how this might pertain to two of its biggest stars, Gervonta Davis and Saul. After Paramount Sunset is Showtime sports brand, which aired PBC, Al Heyman firm announced Amazon Prime had a deal with multi years. You know, basically it's going to be on Amazon Prime. They're going to air a mixture of 12 to 14 pay-per-views and non-pay-per-view events, yada, yada, yada. Per his source, it says TGB Promotions, the promoter that PBC most often works with, already has Las Vegas Insac holds for events February 24th, March 2nd, March 23rd, and March 30th. Not all requests for commission holds on dates for events are guaranteed to materialize. So some of these events and holds, they're just that. They're holding it, but that doesn't mean absolutely this will be the case and absolutely these fights happen on that date. It says this month, TGB added an INSAC hold for an event on May 4th, which we know Canelo likes to fight on Cinco de Mayo. This is what our source said. Now pay attention. PBC will likely make an announcement, possibly this week, regarding the upcoming event. March 30th is a probable date for the first PBC on Prime show. A lot of people are speculating that it is going to be Gervonta Davis who christens that deal with Amazon Prime. There's people who are spreading that Tank is fighting Frank Martin and I don't know why. I don't know who said this because Frank Martin posts workout videos and Tank is posting workout videos. So they try to play detective. According to his source, it says Frank Martin is not believed to be next in line for Tank. The hold on May 4th is likely Canelo, which is what I said. And it says Jaime Munguia is not believed to be next in line to fight Canelo, which is good because I, I, I mean, I rather I, I don't know. There's other options for him. It says Jamal Charlo is probably the front runner. So make sure you check out my man, Alan Dawson. I would definitely do a, a more in-depth, detailed video about this. But this is huge news because boxing has been on a dry spell. And subscribe to my channel. I'm definitely going to do an unpack where I really just gobble y'all up, pause, and destroy y'all. Because there's been a lot of clout chasing, a lot of Gervonta Davis hate, and a lot of nonsense in the world of boxing as we wait for big fights to come. So with this report coming out, that is likely they're going to at least give us something. That's good news because 2024 so far has been very dry. The only conversations going on in boxing right now are fake conversations, clickbait, and a whole bunch of other things. So it'll be great instead of all the speculation to get real information released from the actual company. And it's so funny because people say, oh, PBC ain't this. Al Heyman's the cancer of boxing. But we know boxing literally couldn't exist without PBC in this current era, in this current era, because it would be so dry. The upcoming old media says they love certain fights like Virgil Ortiz already fought. Nobody was really talking about the fight. The most that people talked about with Virgil Ortiz was the aftermath and what they believed to be controversy with referee Tony Weeks. That's when people started talking about the fight. I didn't see no crazy numbers, crazy live gate and crazy chatter. People want to hate on Canelo. You know, people want to hate on Javante Davis, especially Javante Davis, which again, I got to unpack video, hit the subscribe button. But we know at the end of the day, who's putting on the biggest fights in his PBC without a shadow of doubt. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with some more. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. 
out of the box you can connect to any console or PC, Bluetooth ready, with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.